All right, so good evening, everyone. Sorry I was running late, but tonight I have an excuse. My internet was failing. I don't know why, but it was failing. You know, I got worried. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yes, sorry. Uh, okay, let me just open the, uh, the screen over here, and then we take it from there, all right? So Wednesday, December the second over here. So just one second. All right, one more. What do we have in here? Okay. All right, so I got this. Thanks for waiting. Sorry about that. And um, here we go. All right, so as far as I remember, this is the last thing that we did yesterday, but we did this very quickly. So uh, this evening, I'm just gonna remind you again of two things. Number one, Please, uh, you know, keep on working on the platform because that's the way, you know, you can keep keep on studying uh, in English Corporativo. And you know that already, okay? And if you can complete 100% of all activities, that'd be perfect. But if you just can complete 80% just to pass, it's also okay. But, you know, we always have to try to do our best. That's the idea over there, all right? So always, you know, aim, you know, for the sky, okay? So that's the idea over here. So I remember up to this point, you should know, or you should know, or you, you should uh, understand information about prices, okay? If you ask yourself, you know, these, these questions below as a self-assessment, como una autoevaluación, you gotta say to you in your head, okay? I can give and understand information about prices, like how much is this? How much is that? If it's cheaper, how much is that one or this one, etc. Or you can also ask, uh, I'm sorry, you can, you can say what you like and what you dislike, okay? I like this one better, but I don't like this one because the color is awful, you can say. Uh, so you may say, I can explain what I like or dislike about something, just like that. I can describe and compare objects and positions. And you can make and response to invitation. Like yesterday, I asked Lorena, Lorena, would you like to go, I'm sorry, to uh, Vicente Fernandez concert, you know, VIP? <laughs> <laughs> of course, right? Yes, even if you don't have time, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Definitely, right? Definitely, right? I love it. Yes. So for tonight, or for this evening, this is the word I have for you. In this case, it's just an expression. It, it means off the top of my head. Si usted lo dice, off the top of my head. If somebody else, if you're talking about uh, this to somebody, off the top of your head, okay? And this means, sin pensarlo dos veces, o si, si, si no mal recuerdo. So that's expression over there. Okay, off the top of my head, or like we say, a grosso modo. Okay, a grosso modo. So that's a great expression of that. So the meaning, the meaning would be off the top of my head means to say something spontaneously without much thought or consideration as to whether one is correct, to give a quick guess or to estimate something. I can tell you the last date of class is next Thursday. If I didn't know, right? But in that case, I know it. So it's not off the top of my head. And, and over here, the usage, okay? Let me just mute your microphone. That's pretty good. All right, so uh, the usage. This idiom is often used to say, I don't know, I see not off the top of my head. All right, so you say, I don't remember, so I, I don't know, not, not off the top of my head. 
okay examples of use do you know how much a bus token costs ask jane off the top of my head i think it's 155 said john and i can ask you do you know how much um the entrance to to watch a soccer game costs you may say uh, okay off the top of my head maybe it's like ten dollars or fifteen dollars right you may say that okay off the top of my head right a grosso modo uh, i have another example over here if you want to run a successful business you need to know your numbers off the top of my head como que si se los supiera de verdad de, de memoria o los maneja los tuviera okay. right next one just off the top of my head, I say there is a 75% chance of success. All right. I can say right now, off the top of my head, I think uh, 18 students are going to join this class. Grosso modo. You know, off the top of my head, I think like around 20 students are going to join this class. Okay. And maybe I can say off the top of my head, a grosso modo, off the top of my head, uh, maybe all of you have completed the midterm exam, okay? Sin pensarlo dos veces, you know, off the top of my head, all right? Do you have any questions about this expression, by the way? Do you have any questions or everything it's, it's clear? So you use this expression when, when, you don't, when you don't remember something specifically, you can say, sin miedo a equivocarme, you may say that, right? Sin miedo a equivocarme off the top of my head, all right? Just like that. Try to use this expression, and I always tell you this, yo siempre les digo, este es bien útil, verdad? Todas son bien útil para mí. <laughs> Everything is useful, right? But you know, off the top of my head, I can tell you, please, you're gonna use this. Si miedo equivocarme, you're gonna use this, all right? Instead of saying, I don't remember, or I, or I don't know, you can say, off the top of my head, uh, this blah, 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 all right, etc. Okay, so let's move forward because this is just the introduction over here. So tonight, everyone, you're gonna practice conversations, you know, like you always do every single night, but this evening needs to be a special, why? Because you need to go the extra mile. In this opportunity, you're not gonna just be just like this, you know, like stuck to the screen, como pegados a la, a, a la pantalla. You're not gonna be just too close. You're gonna try to interact with the screen and with your classmates, all right? You're gonna pay attention to what your classmate is saying over there. So that's the idea, okay? So, but before you practice, you gotta take this quiz, all right? You gotta take this quiz. I'm gonna send the, the access information to you in a second, okay? But first of all, as you can see, this one has to do with the grammar. Invitations, okay? Would like to or want to? If you want to be polite, like for example, if you don't know a person very much or if you respect that person, or if you want to be just courteous, quiere ser cortés or polite, you want to use, would like to. But if you wanna invite your brother, your cousin, or your best friend, you can say one, two, okay? So that's the difference. Would like to, it's politeness. And one, two is just something casual, all right? So I can ask you, Frank, if I know you, right? Very, like very well, I can ask you, eh, do you want to go uh, out with me this coming Saturday? You may say, yeah, let, let's go. Hey, let's go. But I can just tell you, hey, let's go out. I can just tell you that, Frank. But if I don't know you or if I want to be uh, polite, I, I'm going to ask you, would you like to go uh, and drink a cup of coffee? Let's see tomorrow. So I'm going to ask you that, all right? Because I want to be respectful, you know, respectful, respectful, all right? So that being said, over here, you have four short conversations, all right? You have four short conversations. And the first conversation is, what does she want to do, all right? Maybe to own a business, go to cooking school, conversation number two. Uh, uh, 
in conversation two, who would she like to meet? A quien quiere conocer o quien quisiera conocer? It be her family or a famous person. Conversation number three, what does she want to do? Maybe to have a garden, to build a house. In conversation four, what would she like in her tea? I don't know, maybe sugar or, or something else, you know, like lemon. So I'm going to send the access to this conversation and individually, all right? Individually, you're going to listen to the quiz. And if you want, you can share the score with me in the WhatsApp chat, okay? But right now, it's just for you to see the difference between uh, want to and would like to. So that's what we're doing right now, okay? So I'm sending uh, I'm sending the access to this uh, quiz as I'm speaking right now, all right? So let me just one second over here. Okay, sorry, my system is loading right now. There you go. Let me know if you're able to open this, please. All right, can somebody just double check it and tell me, yes, Jose, it's working. Yeah, is it working, everyone? Yeah, it's working. All right, but uh, the, uh, the information that I sent to you has the script, but click where it says the, you know, the quiz, please. All right, we gotta be honest, you know, don't, you know, take the easy way out, please. Remember that expression that I shared with you last time? All right, so don't, don't take the easy way out, right? Or don't go the easy way out. As you can see, you have the script, which I shared with you. You have the grammar and the quiz. So right now, take the quiz, please, just with the questions and, and the uh, options, over there. okay? So this is the, the screen that you're supposed to have. No the script, but I, I share with you the script. But I mean, take the quiz instead, please. All right, so whenever you're ready, please uh, share the uh, discourse in the chat, please, on WhatsApp, if you don't mind, please. All right, so whenever you're ready, uh, share the, um, the score that you get uh, in the quiz, please, okay? We send you a screenshot. Yeah, if you want, just uh, send a screenshot, please, of this score. Yeah. Okay. 
only the quiz, right? Yeah, only the quiz over there. Yes, the score. I just want to see the, the score over there, please. So if you could, like everyone, if you could just hurry up because it's 9.20 and we got to practice, you know, we have a lot of practice to do tonight, okay? All right, so I, I guess everybody, everybody uh, shared this already. Let me just give you some uh, directions, okay, or some uh, instructions very quickly, okay? So thank you, you know, uh, to the ones that are, are sharing their responses over there, okay? So take a look at this. So since, since these are short conversations, I'm gonna I'm gonna have your screen over there so I can see your faces. Like I can see Lorena, that's me, Alma, Frank, Fernando. I have Carla. So I have your faces over there. So I have them on the right and I have the conversation on the left. So the practice that you're going to do tonight and until we finish the the module will be try not to read the the lines over there. So that's what, that's what you're gonna learn to do. So you're gonna learn to say the information or the script, not just like this, you know, but you're gonna try to say it like off the top of your head, sin miedo equivocarse, okay? And, and I'm gonna, um, in this case, I'm gonna choose, let's see, uh, I'm gonna choose Lorena. You're gonna be the woman, and in the first conversation, I'm gonna be the man, all right? I just wanna, you know, just give you a sample what you can do, okay? So mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. So what do you want to do in the future? I like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? I like to cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, uh, I want to eat there. I like that. All right, so just like that. So the thing is, at least like look at the side, no se apague la luz, but don't read over there. I mean, so that's the idea. So, and we gotta do it quickly over there. And so Lorena, on conversation number two, you're gonna be the, the man and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the woman, all right? But hold on, hold on, just wait a second. It's easier when you ask the questions, but it's more difficult when you reply, okay? Because for a question, you know the script, like, how are you? Like, how can I help you? Okay, you know that already, you know. But when you reply, yes, you have to read, but, you know, try to say the last couple of words looking at the camera or looking at your classmates, okay? So go ahead, please. Who would you, who would you like to meet someday? I'd like to meet Bill Gates. Why would you, why would you say ask him? I ask him about his life. Uh, I want to know his secret to success. I like to right. know. Yeah, here's hoping. All right, here's hoping. Okay, so that's the idea. And in that way, you're going to say the conversation naturally. Okay, and you can do it. You can do this and you can do it actually better. So right now I'm going to open the breaker rooms so you can practice this conversation. Try to say it quickly with right intonation and not just reading just like this, right? Just like that, all right? Please, thank you. Just one second more here. Okay, one more. Um, all right, so 18 participants, that's a great number. So I'm gonna have nine couples right now, that's great. So I have uh, Mauricio with Rosa, Christopher with Jacqueline, Anna with Noemi, Ernesto with Lorena, Fernando with Carla, Anna with Frank, um, Arturo with Roberto, and then I'm showing Alma with Arely, Isabel with Isael. All right, go ahead, please. All right, so uh, try to go ahead and practice, please. Thank you.
Muy bien. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Um, uh -huh. I don't. Sorry. No lo encuentro. Es como un link, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero okay, ya lo okay. pusieron acá. Okay. Vamos, vamos. Sí, ahí está. Okay. What do you What do you want to do in the future? Sorry, sorry, pero la cosa no me carga. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Sí, sí ya. Okay. Ah, okay. What do you do to in the future? I'd like to be to a to be a, to be a chef. I want to have uh, my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? I, I like to cook green food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat it there. I like that. Okay. All right. Okay. That's nice. Who so, would you like to meet? Someday. <laughs> Bye. You see. What do you want to do in the future? I like to be a chef. I want to have uh, my own restaurant. What kind of food do you like to cook? I like to cook Greek food. Oh. There's hopping. Conversation number three. Where would you like to live in the future? I like to be in the country. What would you do? I had a farm. That would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Uh -huh. Number four. What would you like to drink? I like an eight. I, I like an I'd stay, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. All right. Yeah, would you like a straw? And uh, let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. You know, do you want sugar with that? No, but I like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. <laughs> so, I, have a, I have a question. Okay. Arturo. In the conversation tree, the last sentence, woman, she said, yeah, I want to grow my, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Our food. On, on. Um. On, on. 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 Um. On food. On, just like, 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 like the other one, like on. Uh -huh. I want to grow my own food. My own food. That's correct? That's what, yes, yes. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. I want yes. Or you can also say like in a very informal way, like I want to grow my own food. That's okay. You can say that. In the conversation two, the four sentence in the woman, uh -huh. she say, uh, "I want to know his secret to success." Is correct. All right. In that case, uh, it's a little bit different. It's I want to know his secret to sack, sack, says, sack, says. Success. 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 It's like you put a K. Sac says success. Sac says. I want to know the secret to success. To, su success. to success. To success. To success. Success. Okay. Exitoso means successful. Successful. Yes. Exito. Success. 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 Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's go back to the main station more here, all right? Okay. All right, so welcome home. Um, so any questions about any word in particular? You may have uh, maybe some doubts about the pronunciation or how something is done. Um, I was telling uh, Frank that uh, sometimes you can use a uh, very informal language. Like in this case, you want to say, 
oh, if you do that, I wanna, I, I wanna eat there. So people say, I wanna, right? Wanna, I wanna eat there. So it's okay if you say that. The same way they contract this, you can use a very informal way. Like when you, when you say, I'm going to, or you say, I, I, I'm gonna go, right? I'm gonna go, just like that. So it's okay if you say it in these expressions, I wanna know his secret to success. All right, I ask him about his life. I wanna know his secret about success, all right? Or his secret to success over there. Like this, if they make a contraction of would, which is very formal, why not making a contraction or one, two, which is very informal? And you're gonna be totally informal, like saying, I wanna know his secret. You know, I wanna have my own restaurant. You see, what, what, what do you wanna do in the future? If you wanna speak, let's see, very formally, you wanna say, what would you, what would you want to do in the future? What would you? But in this case, it's informal. You say, what do you want to do in the future? But when you say, you can say, what do, what do, what do you wanna? What do you wanna do in the future? What do you wanna do in the future? I like to be a chef. I wanna have my own restaurant. I wanna have my own restaurant. What kinds of food would you like to cook? I like to cook great food. If you do that, I want to eat there. I want to eat there. All right. What's my message to you, everyone? Whenever possible, and if it's not a formal conversation, use English the way it's supposed to, to be spoken. De la forma en que se habla. I want to I wanna do it. I want to go, etc. But you got to be careful. Okay. In that way, you're going to be more fluent. All right. And that's the idea. Okay, like this one, you see this question? It says, do you want, do you, uh, do you want sugar with that? Aquí no lo podemos unir porque tenemos a sugar aquí a la par. No hay dos verbos, right? Do you want sugar with that, all right? Would you like a straw? Would you like a straw? Quiere pajilla? Would you like a straw? No, thanks, etc. cetera, all right? Uh, well, over here, you said, the woman says, over here, I have a farm, I, ha I have a, have a farm, I have a farm, have a, I have a farm, right? Etc. All right, and so Frank also asked me, yeah, I wanna grow, I wanna grow my own food, own, like this word, como si fuera de on, de encima, on. Eh, propietario o dueño eh, means owner, owner, right, owner, owner owner you know own owner all right there we go all right so now let's let's continue with this and and what we have it's a listening exercise okay so in this this is going to be a review and the store is dave's discount store you have several articles you have uh electronic devices appliances like a tv i'm sorry this is a desktop computer you have a laptop computer you have a silk shirt silk means seda you know silk all right and then you have cotton cotton you say cotton you say cotton you don't say cotton i mean you can say cotton that's okay that's okay but uh we say cotton all right uh wool plant pants wool leather pants de cuero all right, wool pants. Uh, I think this is lana, if I'm not mistaken. So what you're going to do in your notebooks or in your cell phone, you're going to circle what you hear. They're gonna say uh, a commercial for Dave's discount store. Circle the correct prices. Obviously, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have a clue. So you have a hint. Tienen una pista because if you're talking about a discount. Most likely, uh, the leather is not going to be ninety dollars because it has a discount, or or maybe that the leather originally cost one hundred dollars and with the discount is ninety dollars. So be careful over here. So all you gotta do is you're gonna circle, or, or in your case, you're gonna write the number ninety or fifteen, fourteen, eighteen, etc. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. So just one second over here. Let me uh, share the screen uh, again. Very, very, very quickly. All right. 
So, sorry about that. I need to get the audio. Okay. So one second. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is unit four, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. All right. And all right, I'm just gonna just make a, a, a trial over here. Units okay, before progress check. Page 28, exercise one, listening. Weekend sale. Yes. Part A, listen to a commercial for date. Yeah, were you able to listen to the, to the uh, audio over here right now? Yes, yes. yes. All right, yes. so it's, it's, it's working right now, okay. So now I'm going to show you the screen as well over here. Unit three to four, progress check. Page 28, exercise one, listening. Weekend sale, part A. Listen to a commercial for Dave's discount store. I don't listen anything. Correct prices. All right, hold on. Come in to Dave's today. Every All right, let me double check it because it was working over there. Okay, maybe I have to, I have to select this screen over here. All right. Let me just go back. All right. Units three to four. What about now, check. Frank? Were you able to listen as I'm speaking? Page 28. Yes, yes. Exercise right. one. Okay. Listening. Okay. Weekend sale. Part A. Listen to a commercial for Dave's Discount Store. Circle the correct prices. Come into Dave's today. Everything is on sale for one day only. Here are some of our terrific sale prices. First, in the clothing department, we have great sales on both men's and women's pants. We have leather pants for only $90. That's right, all our stylish leather pants are only $90. And wool pants are on sale for $50. Just $50 for wool pants. Amazing. But that's not all. Every style and color of shirt is on sale. Designer silk shirts are now only $40. Again, that's $40 for a silk shirt. And cotton shirts are on sale for just $18. Unbelievable! Finally, in the electronics department, we have a great selection of computers. We have laptop computers for only $1,015. And we have desktop computers for $830. A complete computer system for only $830. What a deal! Remember, these prices are for today only. So come in and save at our one-day sale. Get everything you need at Dave's. Nice. That's a great commercial, by the way. Uh, you know, this gentleman starts the announcement or the commercial by saying a terrific, you know, terrific. It's not terrible. All right. So terrific, ter terrific means something good, you know, very good, right? Like very good. So that's, that's a difference between terrific and terrible. So be careful. Terrific means good. All right. Very good. Terrific. Nice. Let's see. So I'm asking this to everyone. Is it 19 or 90? 19. Yes. You can 90, say yeah, that, that's a ninety dollars or whatever. Yes, correct. Nice. What about wool pants? Is it fifth? You know, fifth, fifteen or fifty? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifteen. Yeah, it's fifty 15. actually. It's fifty. All right. What about the silk silk shirts? Fourteen or forty? Forty. 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 Yeah, and I'm starting 40. to notice that. I mean. This discount is not to discount, right? <laughs> there are not many discounts over here because we have forty dollars. I mean, that's a lot. Fourteen, it would be a deal for me. Fifty dollars, um, yeah, it's still too expensive, right? Leather jacket, it's okay because you know leather is always expensive. All right, so now let me ask you, what about cotton? The cotton shirt, cotton shirt. Yes. 
18. In this, in this case, yes. It's, it's uh, $18, correct. What about in the, in the uh, electronics? Uh -huh. $1,015. Yes, a thousand fifteen dollars or one thousand fifteen dollars. And, and, and the desktop computer? Eighty four. Eight hundred and thirty. Yeah, eight hundred and thirty. That's correct. Nice. So I can see I can see that you're good on numbers over here, which is great. All right. So let's move on right now. So coming up next, everyone. Yes, we still have like plenty of time, like around 20 minutes or more. Uh, we're supposed to practice this conversation, but we're not gonna do it right now, okay? Instead of doing this, we're gonna just uh, jump in and try to practice with this uh, family, all right? So right now we're going to start unit five, and tomorrow we're gonna do the review of the third person singular, all right? So. Uh, I, I wanna cover this material with you right now. Okay, so the name of the unit is, I come from a big family. And just to give you an example, and this is in my case, a very personal experience. Why is that? Because my grandparents, they had 11 children, my, my grandparents, okay? So I can actually tell you everyone that uh, I do come from a very, very big family, all right? Yes. So uh, as you can see, you have very common vocabulary. You have cousin, the right pronunciation means cousin, all right? You don't say, you don't say cousin, you don't say cousin, you say cousin, all right? You say daughter, daughter, you say father, Grandmother, you don't say mother, you don't say mo, mo, mo. No, we don't say mother. We say grandmother, like a nap, but little, right? Grandmother, you know, grandmother. This one, niece, 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 all right? And then you have sister-in-law, uncle, and then you have the wife. How do you say esposos, like in plural? How do you say that, by the way? Uh huh. Any idea? How do you Marry. say esposo? Actually, esposo. Yes, that's how husband is. But, but it, like both, both of Marry. them. Like. I don't know. I just sent it to you over here on Zoom. On Zoom. Spouse. 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 That's actually the legal term. It's the legal term. Okay. It's el termino legal. You say, "Ah, she's my spouse." or he's my spouse, or the spouses, all right? The spouse, the spouse, spouse, all right? Now, just remember, just remember something over here. Remember that children doesn't even, I mean, doesn't really mean like niños, all right? It also means hijos e hijas, all right? All right? So you can say, for example, uh, I don't know, maybe Lorena, you can tell me, I have three children. It may be your older uh, child is, I don't know, 20, but it's still a child always, you know, for, for a parent. But it doesn't really mean niño o niña, like literally. It means a son and a daughter. That's what it means. Remember, if you have like brothers and sister, if you have brothers and sister, you can also say siblings, all right? You can say siblings. That is brothers and sisters, siblings. All right, so I can say I have two brothers, but what if you have two brothers and one sister? You can say I have three siblings, okay? So that's something that that, that I think it's important for us to, to understand and double check over there. All right, we can we can say, for example, three songs, three. Uh, if there is solo son varones, see, but if, if it's oh, okay. Si son hijos en general, oh, you say children, songs. right? Oh, okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah, but it's incorrect to say that I have three sons and then you have one daughter and two uh, boys. So be careful. How do you say, how do you say um, el hijo menor? How do you say that? I don't know. Yeah, you okay. can say that. The little child. You, you can say, my baby, you say, right? 
<laughs> yeah, you can say uh, my older or the son, all right, or, or older uh, child is el mayor, all right. And the the youngest, you can say youngest, all right, youngest child. And what about the one like, for example, uh, and the one in the middle, all right. <laughs> You can say that the middle daughter or the middle or son or the middle child or whatever. Okay. My daughter has a great grandmother. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, great grandmother means uh, bisabuela, all right? As you have in here. So we don't really have too many uh, words to say it over here, but I really wanted to tell you siblings in the right pronunciation, you know, to say children and not children's and a spouse that applies to both all right so how do how do you say uh fulano de tal by the way how do you say that all right maybe it doesn't have to do with this but how do you say fulano de tal or fulanito de tal such a guy no somebody. yeah some you can say somebody too but there's actually a way to say mr so and so that's how you say it. Yes. Remember that you're talking about in general, you can say, ah, fulanito tiene dos hijos, fulanita tiene tres hijos, etc. Right? You say Mr. So and so has three children. Right? When you're like speaking in general, <clears throat> Mr. So and so. Just like that. So Mr. So and so. All right. Because sometimes we speak about the neighbors and you say, fulanito de tal, deja la hija, verdad que no. Tal cosa, right? That's what people say, right? <laughs> yes, we tend to compare, right? So that's why you say Mr. So and so over there. Okay. And we can say we can't say younger child. Okay. Yeah, you can that's my younger, my, my young my younger, younger child. or youngest. Or the that's the youngest, yes. Like for let me tell you this. So I have two brothers, all right. I have two brothers. So I have, so my older brother, uh, his name is uh, Alonso and my, and my younger uh, brother is uh, Julio, All right? I can say younger and older. So, and I'm the one in the middle, okay? You can also say big brother, or just like the, the, the TV show, all right? Like big brother. All right, so any questions about this? By the way, oh, I forgot. How do you say familiar? Relative. Yeah, that's that's the way it is. You say relatives over there, Relative. right? Relatives, all right. And and how do you say how do you say um, eh, no? Tell me the translation to this. All right, seres queridos. Beloved. Yeah, beloved. Yeah, beloved members. Uh, you know, so, so integrante de la familia, you say family members, right? Family members. That's how you say. It. That's your family member. All right. Your cousins, your uncles, your your grandparents, etc. Though those are part of your extended family. Your extended family. All right. They are part of your extended family. What would be that the the other one? It would be the nuclear family or the close family, right? Nuclear family is like your wife, your daughter, or your uh, son, or your your children. Mother. Nuclear family. So that would be the opposite over there. Okay. Okay. If it, if he has like in law. It is. It has to do with legal term. Like for example, you can say "mi suegro," "my father-in-law," "suegra," and "mother-in-law." All right. Yerno, it is right in Spanish. It would be uh, "son-in-law," "nuera," "daughter-in-law." Right. Exactly. All right. Cuñado, brother-in-law. Cuñada, sister-in-law. All right. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Just like that. You just put "law" over there. All right. Nice, but let's, let's move forward over here. So in this unit, you're supposed to uh, talk about families, all right? And family members, as you can see, exchanging information about the present. 
describing family life as well, okay? And then the grammar would be the present continuous, yes and no, and WH questions. You're gonna also learn to answer in very long responses or also using short answers. And last but not least, the last grammar of this module would be quantifiers or quantifiers. Instead of saying like 50% of Salvadorians uh, don't use uh, face masks, you can say that, all right? You can say some or, or a few Salvadorians don't use masks, that's a quantifier, right? Instead of using percentages, we use quantifiers or quantifiers. Like to say all, almost all, nearly all, okay? Or a lot, or a lot of, this ones, okay? And this is gonna be starting tomorrow, but tomorrow is gonna be some more practice, like uh, speaking. But next week, we're gonna be talking about all of this, all right? So that being said, I guess that some of you can recognize or, or can identify some of these faces. Like for example, Miley, Miley Cyrus and, and her father, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. I know this is uh, Ben's uh, Affleck uh, brother and this is uh, her, her wife, you know, Jennifer, his wife, Jennifer Gordon, okay? Et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to play it, another listening uh, uh, yeah, you're also stating over here, padrastro or madrastro, you, you said, stepfather, okay, and stepmother, all right, stepfather and stepmother, all right. Thank you. So I'm going to play this listening, and what, and what you're going to uh, answer to is the following. How is the second person related to the first person? What's the first one? is Chris Martin, I think I think he belongs to Coldplay, if I'm not mistaken, you know, that's a, a singer from Coldplay, all right? Chris Martin. And uh, Wayne Paltrow, I think is the name. So you're gonna say if it's the wife, Chris, Chris Martin's wife, or if it's a friend, etc. okay? So that's what you're gonna do over here. Understood, everyone? All right, so here we go. So just one moment. And this is listening to from unit five. So one second. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna meet your microphones. Unit five. I come from a big family. Page 31, exercise two. Listening. How are they related? Listen to four conversations. Are you able to listen over here? Just fine? Yes? yes. yes. All right. Yeah. So, yes. All right. Thank you. So let me just start over. So I don't interrupt you over here. Unit 5. I come from a big family. Page 31. Exercise 2. Listening. How are they related? Listen to four conversations about famous people. How is the second person related to the first person? One. Who are you listening to, Adam? Oh, it's Coldplay. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite band. Chris Martin has a cool voice. Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you know who his wife is? His wife? No. The actress, Gwyneth Paltrow. They make an interesting couple. Two. What are you reading, Pete? An article about Francis Ford Coppola. He has a new movie out. Who? Francis Ford Coppola. You know, the director of The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two. Oh, right. Do you know who his nephew is? The actor Nicolas Cage. Really? Three. Are you downloading a song, Cindy? Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, I am. It's the new Miley Cyrus song. Miley Cyrus? Is she related to Billy Ray Cyrus? I have no idea. Who's he? He's a country singer and an actor. Here, let's look it up. Yes! Billy Ray is her father. Four. So, what movie do we want to watch? Oh, 
Here's one with Casey Affleck. Oh, I like him. He's really good in dramas. I like his sister-in-law, too. Who's that? Jennifer Garner, the actress. Oh, right. She's married to Ben Affleck, Casey's brother. All right, I didn't know that. Maybe now uh, Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck might be divorced, but I have no idea, by the way. <laughs> All right, so Chris Martin and then uh, Wayne Paltrow. What's the relationship that they have, by the way? Chris Martin is couple. the husband. Yes, correct. So they are a couple, right? So they are spouses, right? The spouses over there, that's right. Or you can say uh, uh, Miss, Mrs. Paltrow is her, I mean, his wife, right? Is Chris Martin's <laughs> wife over there. Okay, what about Francis Ford Coppola, which is the director of uh, the Godfather uh, installment one and two, uh, uh, led by Al Pacino, right? So what's the relationship of, the, of Nicolas Cage between them? Nicholas is nephew. Grandfather. Correct. It's, it's his nephew, right? Correct. So mm -hmm. Franz, Francis is the, the rich uh, the rich and famous uncle, right? He que daba los estrenos para el 24. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> okay. And the other one is actually pretty easy, right? Everybody knows Miley Cyrus, right? And we have Billy Ray Cyrus. This guy, uh, recently, he uh, released an album, right? It was a song, like a country song, okay? Like rap and everything, just like that, with uh, with the uh, African-American singer, okay? So, what's the relationship? I need to ask you, but you know already this, right? Hannah Montana, Billy, right? Billy Ray, <laughs> Ray is father. 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 Yeah, okay. so, Billy's. correct. Her, yeah, father. they ha they have the Billy same Martin. last name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you you know that, right? <laughs> okay. So if you watch, uh, I don't know, Disney Channel, you know this. What about Casey Affleck and Jennifer Garner? Jennifer Garner is the sister of Ben Affleck. Of oh, Casey Affleck, sorry. Is the sister or the sister-in-law? No. The sister-in-law. Yeah, the thing, uh -huh. yeah. the thing is that Jennifer Gardner is married to Ben Affleck, who happens to be Casey Affleck's uh, brother. You know, Ben Affleck, Batman. <laughs> yeah, the new Batman. So uh, he was married or he's married to uh, Jennifer Gardner. In that way, Jennifer Gardner is Casey Affleck's sister-in-law. Es la cuñada, right? Sister-in-law. Yes. So she is his sister-in-law, right? Sure. You might not seen you might not have seen this guy before, but he's also an actor and he's very good at drama. All right, I can I cannot say the name of the movie because of copyrighted, but yes, he's good <laughs> because his brother Ben Affleck is like the tough guy, you know, he's a bad man, right? And his brother is the other the other side, you know, dramatic. Okay, but let's move forward over here. We still have time. We're gonna close the evening. All right. We have to practice this without saying goodbye, right? Before saying goodbye. Asking about families, all right? So I'm gonna play the listening for you. Pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation. I'm gonna, li I'm gonna play uh, part A and part B, okay? And then I'm gonna send you to the breaker rooms to practice and with that, we're done for today, okay? So just one second over here. All right, let me just get the listen. And it's conversation. Yes, that's the one. Page 31, exercise three, conversation. Asking about families. Part A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow! And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. All right. 
Great. Okay, so I don't think you have any questions about the pronunciation over here. But all I can say is, please take advantage of all of these link sounds, okay? Uh, brother in, like this one, right? This, is, this comes naturally, right? Naturally, right? And I can also point out to what about, right? What about? Remember, that's mandatory for you to say what about. He's a, he's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family, what a, right? What a. Como el pájaro, right? Como una guara, right? <laughs> you say, what a, what an interesting family. Can I, can I, right? You say, can I, right? Okay, uh, my sister's away. My sister is away, all right? And working in, this is similar, right? Working in, right? You say, working in. And then he's traveling in the Amazon. All right, that's good. Now let's listen to part B. And he says, listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? Remember, this is Rita. And, and he's talking about uh, his, uh, I'm sorry, her family members over here. So where do Rita's parents live and what do they do? Okay. Let me just one second over here. All right. Here we go. Page 31, exercise three, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at a university there, and my father is a carpenter. All right, so uh, where do Rita's parents live? Uh -huh. Texas. They live in Texas. And what's the city? In Texas in the, in the Austin. Uh, Austin, right? Austin, Texas, right? All right. All right. And what, what, does, what does her mom do for a living? The mother is teacher in the, un, in the university. Carpenter. Yeah, in that. Her in the, parent is carpenter. It's a carpenter, right? Just one thing, there's, there's a difference. Uh, a teacher is from uh, kindergarten until uh, high school. But then in, in high school, you gotta say professor, all right? So she's a professor, all right? Professor at the university, and then uh, the father is a carpenter, all right? Just like that, okay. Nice, now I'm going to uh, send you to the breaker room so you can practice this. Um, and then this is going to be the last activity of the evening, okay? Thanks. So, and, and here we go, all right? Yeah. And let me just one second over here. All right, all right. So, Christopher, Fernando, and Noemi, you are together, and then the rest, uh, Ernesto, Isabel, um, Arturo with Anna, Arely with Lorena, Frank with uh, Carla, etc. Okay. Let me send this screenshot uh, to you right away. Okay. So one second. You first. Okay. Tell me, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Very, on very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? And she's 
and real life photographer. And uh, your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Okay. Invertimos. Yes. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. <laughs> well, my sister works. Uh, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Mm -hmm, that's I'm not sure. <laughs> She's working oh, on a very stupid project right now. Well, um, what about your brother? He's a real life photographer. What an interesting family that I met him. Sure, but now, not now. My sister's away, away, she's not in the Amazon. Practice again. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister. Well, my sister, for my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very... All right, so welcome, welcome home, everyone, as I said always over here. Um, Okay, let me just wait before everybody lips over here. All right, so. Uh, some of you are still in the break room, so that's what I'm waiting right now. Okay. All right, just to let you know, everyone, now that I see that all of you are here. Okay, so uh, this is a, a very good way to start a conversation, right? You can start by, uh, by instead of asking, uh, what's your family like, or, or what do you do? Etc. You can also tell me about your family or tell me about your work. Okay, etc. So that's a good way. This one. And um, just pronunciation, you know, he's a wildlife photographer. You can say photographer, photographer. You can say photographer yeah. or photographer. Wildlife photographer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And with this, I say goodbye. I actually took more time. I hope you have a great night and hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. The last class. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Goodbye.